for some reason this year, people are reacting to Pride rolling out as if it's the first Pride ever. Mm. For some reason, people are being like, great, now my beer is 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 gay. Yeah. Great, now my video game is gay. It's like, the, the Dead by Daylight stands as a great example of something that's always been a little bit gay and always will be. <laughs> so, like, nothing's changing, you know, yeah. like, when we are announcing the Into the Rainbow stream, it's like, if you have a problem with that, it probably just means that you don't like being reminded that other people who play this game aren't exactly like you. I don't know what I don't know what that is, but yeah. we're really celebrating like um, video games are for everyone. Fundraising really? for the good of humankind is for everyone. Twelve thousand five hundred and fifty six dollars. And we're not even halfway through the stream today. So, M, what do you think? Should we meet the next group of players? I think we should. We have a pretty stacked lobby ahead of us. Obviously, iconic deer is going to Icon. be kicking off this new group as the killer. If you are unfamiliar, deer plays a mean pig. So yeah, she does. I'm yeah, I'm really, really excited to see some of Deer's gameplay. Joined by four phenomenal survivors. We have Milady Confetti, Drag Trashly, Elix, and Hydro. And if you're not familiar with any one of those names I just mentioned, do yourself a favor. Drop them a follow because you are going to want to check out their content, get to know their communities, and see all of the incredible things that these creators do. Yeah. Any one of these channels, they're all really great, really great. These are communities, by the way, I've been in all these chats. These are communities where you could show up and say, hi, I've never been here before, and I guarantee you'll make five friends. Yes. Let's look at our little sexy clip reel from our friend, Deer. Anything you can't, though. You're done. Hello there, it's me, dear. It is a pleasure to be a part of Into the Rainbow with Dead by Daylight. You may recognize me from the Game Awards or Game Breakers, a documentary dedicated to trailblazers within the video gaming industry featuring myself and the Stream Queens, or just from my many collaborations with Dead by Daylight. I am so excited to be a part of this. I love Dead by Daylight. Dead by Daylight is one of my favorite games. I have created cosplays of the pig and Nea Carlson. I have created makeup art inspired by perks and offerings. I even made a video dedicated to the pig and how to uh, boop boop the snoot, an instructional video. Although it was just, uh, it, it was basically an excuse to make lots of pig puns, which I'm very passionate about. <laughs> Dead by Daylight is a leader in the industry when it comes to LGBTQIA plus communities because we have charms. We even have our first queer character. I can't wait to see what else they do because they are trailblazing. They are making a difference and I see it. I love it. Thank you. Happy Pride. Have fun in the fog. Well, there you have it. I mean, um, I don't think we could have done a Dead by Daylight queer competition without including Deer, right? Oh, absolutely not. Deer, yeah. as you could tell from that video, is such an integral part of this community and has done so much with the stream team, stream queens. Highly recommend. Stream teams are such a great way to just find a group of streamers where if you like one of them, odds are you're gonna like all of them with similar communities. Like you were saying, you know, every single one of these streamers, if you say, hey, I'm new, you're going to be made to feel welcome and you're going to immediately be met with kindness and warmth. And I think Deer has just done such an incredible job of uplifting the LGBTQIA2S plus community on Twitch. And, you know, you're in our DBD category. So I am absurdly excited to see what she has in store for us. Yeah, I'm assuming she's going to play pig. She's a great pig player. She submitted a picture with a with a pig item on her head. 
I'm assuming she's gonna play Bing. And she's also, you know, don't forget, Deer is old enough to remember when the first movie came out. Don't forget, Deer is in her <laughs> upper 50s. Do not forget, she's just a talented makeup artist, but she really is just a raisin with lashes on. Don't forget it. I'm um, That's so my words, excited. not M's. I'm so excited to hear what she has to say about that when we interview her <laughs> after this match. Wow. Okay. She looks great today in her drag, but she's definitely playing pig and she's got the pig skin with the drill. Love the drill. Weirdly a scarier sound. If anybody has a yeah. uh, phobia of the dentist, this, this sound effect, I think Chilling. DVD does amazing sound design, the music yes. and the, 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 the killer voices in this game, the, the, the killer sounds like yep. the sound design in this game is part of what makes it so scary sometimes. Don't you think? Um, Oh, a hundred percent. The sound design is what keeps me getting jump scared so many years yeah. after starting to get into this game in the first place. Totally. This game is, I mean, it's good. Headphones in, it's it's really, it makes it immersive. It makes you scared. Yes. If you haven't played with headphones on, uh, highly recommend because as we were saying earlier, it really contributes to that feeling of you being a character in a horror movie. Yeah, and um, to flip-flop it, when you're playing killer, that stereo headphone sound helps you so much. So if you're new yes. to the game, you would be amazed how much you hear the survivors before you see them a lot of the time. Yeah, And if 100%. you're not playing their headphones in, it's really hard to be effective. Wow, Deer is so on top of it. Yeah, she's gotten at least one hook. Or she got one hook. Um, yep. She's got a she's got a hat on someone. Um, if you're new to this uh, game, by the way, chapped, this is the pig, aka Amanda from the Saw series, and her power is it kind of has a multiple tiers. One of the things it does yeah. is deer can well deer, but <laughs> like it's the pig, <laughs> the pig can squat down really low and be completely undetectable. No heartbeat, no warning, no 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 music. And then she can snap out of it and charge you and hit you. So she can really sneak up on you. And that suddenly you hear that growl and you have no idea what direction it's coming from. It's really scary. It really is. It, it goes back to what we were saying about Michael Myers. It's that element of surprise when a killer is there before you had a chance to realize they even knew where you were that gets me every time. Hearing Definitely. Hearing the pig rev that, uh, gosh, I wanted to call it a saw, and that's not right. <laughs> this, the drill. The drill, thank you, yes. Um, that sound gets me every time. It's spooky. Um, the other mechanic that this killer has, if anybody's new, um, she has multiple bear trap, like head traps, like the movie that she can put on characters. You can see um, Milady has one on right now. And now, in addition to having to do generators and survive and stuff, she has to go to all these little saw boxes and she has to get that headpiece snatched off. Otherwise, it opens and kills her. So she could just die without the killer even having to follow up. Yes. So it's it, it, those I honestly, I'm very proactive about the head traps. I don't know how you feel, Em, but I always get that thing off right away. Same. So I don't die I, very often from the head trap. Yeah, I, I think I've had one pretty epic head pop from them where I had gone around the map and tried every single station. And of course, I was like a foot away from the right one when my timer ran out. But it's one of those things where when you're the survivor, it sucks. But as the killer, it is such an interesting mechanic and I love that, again, it's really rooted in the lore of the Saw franchise. It's one of the most iconic things from the Saw movies is that it reverse bear trap. I love those movies. And I think that, I mean, when you create something that iconic, I mean, I would say that that bear trap is up there with like the, the puzzle box from Hellraiser. Like that bear trap is so iconic. I yeah. couldn't imagine them doing a Saw Dead by Daylight chapter without the head trap. You know. And I love even the uh, the box that they have to put their hands into to try and get yes, to try and get it off so in the first place. Cool. Yeah, there's oh a box God. like that. I believe it's 
Yeah, she's she's putting the hurt on. I uh, think it's, there's a, I think it's, it's two, dog. right? Two or three? There's the one where they have to put their hand in that box and there's a saw in there and they have to like give blood using it. I forget yeah. which one it is. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's in the second one and I won't spoil anything if you haven't seen it, but it's a, it's a pretty interesting trap to see them try to get out of. Rest in, rest in peace, my friend, Milady. We lost her. Did she die from the head trap? She, she sure did. She did. And I was so distracted that I didn't I missed see it. the moment. I yeah. looked at the chat and everyone's saying like head pop. And I was like, I oh my know. God, I missed it. Those head traps though. I mean, I, like I said, I don't die from them always. They're usually just an annoyance. Well, yeah. those get out of control very quickly. And it's so like, Rhyme, no rhyme or reason. Sometimes you get that head trap off the first time, mm -hmm. and sometimes you have visited every box on the map, and you're like, yep. "What is going on?" And especially as a killer, having something that's like set it and forget it, so you yep. can be focusing just on three survivors instead of four, can make totally. It can make or break a game. It can really turn the tides. And right now, I mean, they have two gens to go. Hydro's Greg hooked. Trashley. Drag Trashley is just sitting on a ledge teabagging with the crows. Honestly, I love the fact that, you know, sometimes we peek in and we hear what they're saying and sometimes we don't. When they're doing stuff like that and we're not listening to their comms, it just cracks me up. Oh, I know. It, it looks so funny. Yeah. Well, Deer's can... got one kill, but they do have quite a bit of generator progress, so she's going to yeah. have to come hard with this. If she could scoop one more kill, she could wrap this whole thing up. Because should we Let's listen in and see what's going on? I was going to say, we were just talking about it. Let's see if we can overhear their plans. She's going towards the area where you guys are. Topping. Thank you. <laughs> Y'all, they're going to kick us out. <laughs> Here's the thing. I don't know. I don't know what the strategy is here now. She's on me. Uh, I'll just save. Oh, fudge. I'm dropping every pallet that exists. Do it, baby. Do it. We're not going to use them. <laughs> yeah, we're really not. <laughs> oh, she got uh, me, gal. This thing is so nasty. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, that was tense. Em and I were just saying, like. In the community, on the Twitch, in the DVD world, everybody here is an amazing player. I do feel Elix probably has one of the reputations of being one of the strongest players. Absolutely. So. And and especially, especially known as being an absolutely diabolically dangerous hag. Yeah, I hope she plays hag today because y'all are about to see a master class in playing the hag. I, I honestly think that Elix probably accidentally taught the developers how good the hag could be. <laughs> like, seriously, they could have n not known how good she was going to, somebody was going to be as that character. I'm... Love that cowboy outfit. Love that cowboy outfit. Double I'm hats, that is so funny. Obsessed with the double hat look. Yeah, that was a beautiful move there. That was a really I... narrow miss. Do you that think... double hat reminds me of... Oh, go ahead. No, what were you going to say? The top hat reminds me of, like, Woody. Yes, absolutely. And then the purple hat reminds me of... There's, like, this meme of, like, a parakeet wearing a little cowboy hat. I'll try to find it. Oh, my gosh, please do. What were you going to say? Obviously, it. this isn't important compared to whatever you were going to say. Uh, parakeets and hats are always important, but we have Hydro on Death Hook, Elix on Death Hook, Milady Confetti is out, and Drag Trashly has one hook. I feel like, I don't want to jinx it, I feel like this could be our first 4K. Especially because finding Hatch on this map can be pretty brutal for survivors. Oh, good luck. Yeah. So There's just so many levels. 
Yeah, even if this comes down to one survivor being far away from deer, having a head start, it can still be really, really, really tough to get a hatch escape on this map. You know what else? I mean, this this map is anybody if anybody who's played, this is obviously the map from the Resident Evil chapter. So if anybody in the chat recognizes this map, it's actually from another very popular game. Yeah. And I remember when I first played this chapter when it came to DVD, as somebody who'd played this exact rebuild of Resident Evil, I was like, this looks exactly like the other yes. game. Like it's, it's not inspired by. It's like the map. It's amazing. It's wild and they did such a good job because there are things that they had to add in terms of obviously like you need vault spots in dead by daylight and they seamlessly kind of made those feel like they had been there all along and it it still feels like you have just been dropped into resident evil it, they did such a Absolutely. good job with this one Ooh, I think Drag Trashley is about to die on hook. And that's gonna be a Oh my two. gosh, Elix is diabolical. Wow, Hydro was right in front of that hook to get the unhook and oh, just that just See that's one of those moments, you guys. Seconds. Mere yep. seconds. Yes. If that would have gotten us been a save. They would have had a lot bigger chance to get out of here. But now, oh my gosh. Yeah, especially, now Elix, I don't know what they're gonna do. Especially with somebody as skilled with pig, like you know, Deer is running a build that she's super confident with, and I don't know, it's looking rough for Elix here. Yeah, so Karma's coming in the chat, so she ran Deer. She really did run Deer. I mean, yeah. Uh, I bet Elix and uh, <laughs> I bet Elix and Deer have a slight enemy situation because <laughs> they they probably play against each other a lot and they're both very good at this game i'm really interested to hear chat feel free to get your predictions in do you think that elix is going to escape yes or no she's i mean there's no way she's gonna find the chat and she's just running yeah if you know what if she hadn't walked into that space where oh, gear was. Oh, 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 was oh my gosh. Are it's we getting be the 4K finally? First 4K. It was a little booty shot there too. Did you see that? <laughs> right into the camera. Wow. I mean. That outfit to me, she looks like a Sim. I don't know why she looks like the Sim. Was that yellow hat with that <gasps> purple shirt. It does. It does feel like create a Sim. Uh, totally. Has moved the DVD. They all played really well, but whoa, that yeah. was amazing. I mean, it kind of all started to go downhill for the survivors, I think, when they they lost Milady really early. Which is a great reminder of like, you know, the the party hats don't always get kills, but when they do, they completely change the game. Yes entirely because not only was she taken out of the game early she spent her whole game trying to get that head off yep so she was just wasting time like she yeah. didn't get to do anything to help the group wow that was amazing that was really amazing should we look at some clips i think so i would love do have any hot clips yeah and we've talked a lot today about you know welcoming new players to the game and i would say if you are somebody who is interested in learning killer especially pig I mean, that match was a great example. I, we're going to take a closer look at these moments, but you can learn a lot from watching these streamers that are participating totally. in Into the Rainbow. Okay, so she, wow. She, I will say Pig makes the cutest now. I know. It's... It's... Tough that like she makes a cute sound when she's stunned, but all of the other sounds she makes terrify me. I you want love to Tumi. love her. But... And this, and this is a great blind right there too. This pal yeah. stunned followed by a blind. That is rude, rude attitude. They came in hot with that. You pal it in the face and a flashlight in the face. Not thrilled. No. Not thrilled. And it's it's wild that like. Deer 
cleaned up in that match. And they the survivors still got some great stuns, some great plays. But when you're playing against somebody that experienced, it's it's going to be rough. Yeah. Well, let's hear from the master herself. Everybody welcome in Deer to the show today. <gasps> hey! Oh, my goodness. The, Don't so, you look beautiful? Hold on a sec. This doesn't look like, like this might not make sense at the moment, but it'll make sense next match, honey. It'll look familiar. Just compare me to the game. Just remember this. Okay. When you're watching the game. Okay. <gasps> okay. Are your nails painted underneath? Yellow bitch. Get into it. That is so cool. And it ombres yellow to blue. So there's a little bit of green. So just imagine that that's green. That little line of black. That's chroming. Oh. You know, I was wondering how you play video games in drag because I'm wearing gloves and I can't touch anything. But this is unacceptable too. So I, I guess you wear cut out <laughs> gloves. Well, I, the secret is to have a controller. I don't know what a keyboard is. I don't know what a mouse is. I've never seen them. I don't know them. Do you play DVD on controller too? Girl, that match was all this. What? Okay, that's, that is amazing. That You played really well. That was fierce. Thank you. I have to just go on record here and say, Milady's head blowing off. That was, that was my intention, but... Her, like, being stalled so much was an accident because I went around a corner and I thought it was Trashly because Trashly was just there. And then yeah. I he I see a person, I'm like, <gasps> gotta kill them! And it's Milady, who has a hat on that's beeping, probably is close closer and closer to death while gens are going, like, it was, it was chaotic. It was chaos. I would say that that doesn't count as tunneling. That counts as you finding the same person twice. That is not your fault. Thank you. And, but, I mean, don't forget. She might have something different to say about that. <laughs> She'll have a lot to say when you interview her. (laughs) Yeah. So we'll see. We'll we'll talk to her about it and we'll see uh, how she does this killer later and how you fare playing against her. Yeah. I fear for me. I'm scared. That's a good group. I mean, all there's all of you in this group are like players of this game. So even getting a 2K in this group, you got a 4K. How do you feel? Great. I feel bad, but I feel nice. (laughs) <laughs> I, th- I think I think that's pride, you know. You feel bad because hey. like all the all the people are yelling at you, but you feel nice at the same time. So totally. you got to be grateful for what you um what you can be grateful for. Em and I were talking about how like at DBD, at least in the DBD community and in our world, it's like Pride Month every month. Do you feel that all year? Oh, absolutely. I mean, like dbd like behavior retweets me it doesn't matter if it's during june like they'll comment on things like they'll invite me to special programs um i've been asked to do uh cosplays before like it's it's beautiful because i'm treated as a valued person of the community not just oh there's the drag queen haul them out bring them out on skates and like push them in in the closet once it's done pride right because you can't skate and so that would be really dangerous (laughs) <laughs> I'll fall on my face, girl. Yeah. Well, you always look incredible and you always play incredible. And my gosh, I can't wait to see you. And I can't wait to put together look in my head when I see it. Absolutely. And you're welcome for letting you be blonde today. I thought Trixie's coming. Let her be. Bl- let her have blonde today. You know, I'll, know, do, I'll, do, like, I'll do blue. Blonde. I'll do blue. You're being very brave because I don't look that pretty in blue hair. So if the tables were turned, I would look like a displaced Smurf. So thank you. <laughs> Well, Smurfette is blonde. Lucky for both of, both of us. You're right. I'll let <laughs> Papa Smurf talk. maybe has blue under his hat. Who knows? The beard is white. Maybe. Well, you're the best, and I can't wait to see you survive. You were incredible. Thank you. Love you both. Did you know you're the first 4K of the day? I think I'm the first left on a hook to rot of, of the day, too, because you'll notice Elix had a hat on. She was worrying about the hat. Trashly died on her second hook. Or... Yeah, on her second hook. She could have been saved one more time. She wasn't. Oh. There was a lot going on in that match. There was it was it was chaos. It was nutty. Yeah. But it was nice. Wow. It was great. Well, it felt nice having a 4K, even though one of them was dirty. And once again, sorry, Milady Confetti. Love you so much. Trashley's fault. Blame her. Blame Trashley. Place the, the fact- blame where it's deserved. The yeah. fact that you absolutely crushed it is killer and are so still apologizing profusely for playing the game successfully is one of the things that I she's love. From, she's from Seattle. I, That's what she from, does. She's from Seattle. <laughs> but it's one of the things that I love about this community. I feel like there's a lot of players like that where 
yeah, you know, we're playing to the best of our ability, but you still want everyone to have a good time mm-hmm. and to have fun. And I feel like that's what today's event is all about too. So thank you for always being a wonderful example of how you can be immensely skilled and still care about your survivors having fun. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Roll back the tapes. I felt guilty. I was like, I'm, I'm like, <laughs> sorry, everyone. Sorry. Sorry. It's out of my hands. It's out of my control. It's just, you know, thank you, God. Listen, thank it's not me. Animal Crossing. It's a game of murder. You murdered. Mm-hmm. Here we are. Here we and are. And now, you know, everybody else will have a turn to murder you. So we'll see. Yeah. We'll see how they yeah, felt get, about this. I'm going to go through yeah, it. Yeah, Em's right. If you get targeted in the next few rounds, we're going to be like, hmm, well. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Blue wig, easy to see. Good yeah, totally. luck. Thank you for having me. Oh my gosh, thank you. And fingers crossed, good luck in the next couple of rounds. That was a great match. She really went in on them. I cannot believe, and things were happening so quickly during that match that, yes. you know, Dear recapping some of it made me realize, like, I didn't even notice that um, Trashley died on second hook. Things were just happening so quickly that it was hard to keep up. Yes, I kind of think uh, not exactly completely fluent teamwork in some of those regards, but, you know. It, it would genuinely be hard to, like, that map against Deer is that's such a lethal combo. I struggle on that map against killers that I'm confident going against, let alone somebody who's that skilled. So oh, yeah, and that map especially on that map, especially, I feel like you can hear generators on the floors above or below you. So if you yeah. have a stealth ability, you're like, well, let me just quick go invisible and then go yeah. grab them, you know. It, it's rough and I get lost constantly. Yeah, it's tough. 